Hey, <laughs> it's me, Harmonized Beauty, AKA Harmony. If you didn't know that, my name is actually Harmony. That is where the term Harmonized Beauty came from. <laughs> so anyways, today I thought it would be fun to show you guys how to get some good volume because if you've watched all my other videos, you know that I am all about the voluminous hair, the big hair. I like it. I just don't know who I am without volume in my hair. So I thought um, back combing is usually how I typically get my volume, but today I thought I'd show you a new technique that I've been using to get volume without back combing. So those of you that don't love to back comb, and this is actually a really super quick way too, but I'm gonna be using this. This is called the Volume. If you haven't seen these before, but they're basically just like these kind of like a crimper but in squares that's gonna help add some texture right at the root that's gonna help give us that volume that we're looking for. So I've just blow dried my hair and I used all of the products that I use in my blow dry tutorial. If you wanna check that out, those are also all volume based products. Okay, so I'm gonna part my, I'm gonna start with parting my hair off and you can kind of go through and flat iron wherever you need to to smooth out the hair. My hair is uh, naturally fairly, I have some curl to it, but it actually blow dries when I use the flat brush. It pretty much blow dries to be fairly straight. So I have not done any flat ironing to it yet. It is just straight from my blow dry tutorial. Sorry, straight from the technique that I use <laughs> in my blow dry tutorial. Okay, so I've got all those out. So I always say we're gonna start with the volume from about where your eyebrows are, right there, and then up, and then none through the top section. So most of our volume is all gonna come within this interior section right here of the hair, okay? So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I'm gonna take this section of hair I'm gonna spray this air control hairspray by Aveda. It's the Aveda air control hairspray. This is a light aerosol hairspray. <clears throat> I'm telling you, I've tried a bazillion other products to use with this same technique and none of them work as good as this does because it is such a light hold and it doesn't you know, weigh the hair down at all, but then it does provide a good, nice hold to it once you apply heat. So. Then we're gonna take the balloon. So we take that hair, we've just sprayed a little bit of hairspray on it, and then we're gonna take our section of hair just like I do when I back comb in my other videos. And you're not gonna hold the hair down here and go in. You're actually gonna hold the hair straight up, just like so, and you're gonna take that balloon and you're gonna get it as close to your root as you can without burning yourself. And you're just gonna hold it there for a second and then you're gonna take it out, okay? and then you can just kind of run your fingers through it. So this, and that is all, <laughs> that's it. That's all we're gonna do. So holding the hair straight up, get that balloon in there. Like I said, as close to you can, as close as you can to your root, to your scalp, without actually burning your scalp. <laughs> I have gotten mine a titch too close sometimes. When you can start to feel the heat at your head, I did just there, it's too close. <laughs> so don't do that. <laughs> Again, holding the hair up, small sections. Now if you have thicker hair, hold the hair up, clamp it in. If you have thicker hair, um, you may need to take smaller sections. If you have finer hair, you don't need to take as big or as small of sections. So that is seriously it, guys. We're gonna, now we're just gonna do that again. We're gonna take down another section all the way around the head, all the way around, and we're gonna do the exact same thing. So we're going to hold that up, we're gonna give it some air control hairspray. So this is going to basically replace our back combing, and you can see, right here, you can see exactly what it does, and I know it looks kinda crazy right there, but the cool thing is, you can't even see it. Once, once the hair is all done, it hides underneath and you can't even see it. So again, it'll be very natural for you to wanna to do this and don't do that because then you're gonna create like a flat spot here that's not 
textured and then you're gonna have your volume here. So the way to avoid that is to get up under the root by holding the hair straight up and then you're just gonna clamp. And this also has a temperature control on it. So if you have super duper fine hair and you're worried about putting heat on your hair, this does have temperature control so you can turn it down. I have mine at 395 and it's good for my hair. The key to it being hot is that I don't let it sit. You can see I don't let it sit for too long on the hair. We're just gonna clamp it fast right at the root and just kind of work our way around. Da -da -da. Just like so. You can already see what that's doing for the hair, right? <laughs> Pretty crazy, huh? Okay, so now I'm not gonna work my sides anymore because I actually want enough hair. I'm gonna part it down the middle today, but I want enough hair to cover those so that you can't see them. But I am gonna go to the back of my hair and do a, maybe one more section back here just because you do have more hair that comes back this way, or at least I do. I put more hair going back. So I'm gonna hold that up, clamp it right at the root. And that one's done. Okay, so then now that's pretty much it. So then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back through and still follow a lot of my other techniques and tips that I use that I've showed you guys before in some of my other videos on how to get that volume in the front by flat ironing. I'm gonna pull, I just took a small section. You can see I just took a very small section in the front and I'm gonna take another one and I'm just gonna keep working my hair from the back to the, or from the front, sorry, from the front to the back pulling it all forward and flat ironing it all forward. Now this is for a middle part. If you have a side part, right through here you'll wanna go, you can, I have another tutorial up here that's a big hair, big straight hair with a side part is what it's called and you'll basically kinda follow more of that pattern where if you part your hair on this side, you're actually going to pull all your hair this way and flat iron it this way, so that when you flip it over, you have all that volume. But where I'm gonna part my hair in the middle, I don't necessarily want this, I want the volume to be created equal on both sides. So, see how I'm just working my way all the way back to the volume section, flat ironing it all forward. And the key to it is, you can see when I'm doing it, I leave it all pulled forward like so, so that it cools. So that as the hair is cooling down from the heat, it's drying, cooling forward, okay? So once we've got it all flat ironed, now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna part my hair just with my comb, wherever you would like to part it. That could be anywhere at this point in time. If you wanna part it down the middle, slightly off to the side, you really can do it however you would like. Okay, so then I'm just gonna go in right here. So I feel like looking at it, it was maybe, I need a little bit more lift right here in this spot. So I'm gonna spray again. I'm gonna let that dry just a little bit because we really don't wanna put that balloon on any wet hair. We don't wanna apply heat to any wet hair. So you can see I kinda just went in at an angle right here and took this hair because it's gonna hide underneath. And then I'm gonna lift it up and we're going to volume it right there. And ta-da! Then this hair will cover it. And then I'm gonna do that again on this side. So the very topmost part, I'm not exposing that and I'm not going to volume that section, okay? So I'm gonna let it cool for a sec. Uh, how easy is this though, right? Easiest way to achieve volume Hold it straight up and not have to back comb. So then you don't have to worry about combing it out at night and causing breakage or damage. If you, there's definitely a time and a place I feel like for back combing, but this 
Volume really does a pretty awesome job. I'm pretty impressed. Now, then I'm just gonna go through and kind of re, not necessarily flat iron anything that we just volumed over. <laughs> I feel like that name is so fitting. It just makes it sound extra super duper fancy. Balloon. Okay, so now I'm just kind of flat ironing my ends just to smooth everything out, make it, you know, create the shape. Now, and I've talked about, I'm telling you, if you've watched my other videos, go through and I talk about a lot of this stuff in depth as to how I flat iron and why I flat iron in the shapes. So if you are curious, cause you are going to see how I, I flat iron around up here and then I kind of leave the ends just like so. And then as the hair's cooling, I will kind of cup it in the direction that I want, in the shape that I want it to lay in. So that makes a huge, huge difference too in your shape and when you're flat ironing. And then we'll just finish off Make sure the bangs are not all crazy, like so. Okay, and like, for reals, water in those pieces. Okay, for reals, that's it. So simple, right? And good volume. Now, the cup one, two, one other thing <laughs> that I'm gonna finish off with is products, because a product is also gonna make a very big difference. So, this is called the Pure, where is, it, where is it? Pure Abundance Hair Potion by Aveda. Now I love this product. Yes, it creates grip to the hair. Yes, it almost makes it feel a little bit dry and a little bit dirty. But this is the holy grail for keeping in your back combing. Is act, or sorry, not keeping in your back combing, in keeping in your volume. There is um, it basically, so it's a powder and it melts to a liquid and it swells the hair by 30% and so it actually does bulk up that hair. But then what it does is I feel like then like this, let's see, when I put my hands like that, now I know this is a really good look, but <laughs> not that I'm going to keep it like this, but it does stay. So it is nice because throughout the day, I mean, most of us have that problem of where we do our hair and it looks super good and we're like, yeah, it's working real good for us. And then we leave and about four hours later, we look in the mirror and we're like, WTF? Like what happened on my body and my hair? So how you keep it is by using a product like that and then all you have to do from there on out is just fluff it up a little. Just give it a little extra fluff and it's back. And that is because that product does add, and you want to keep that product, the Pure Abundance Potion, right at the roots because that is what really, um, if you put it, my dog is eating something, a cup actually out of the garbage. So I better make, I better cut this video short. <laughs> so I'm just kidding. I'm not cutting it short. We're done, but I better quit yakking. So. That's what it does is this creates, it makes it, you want to keep it at the roots because if you, if you put it down here, it might make it hard to run your fingers through your hair. So keep that Pure Abundance Potion up at the top, right at the roots where you want the most volume and you will be golden. But that's it. So I hope you liked that tutorial. That was a fun, easy, simple one on how to get that big straight hair with no back combing. Okay. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful day and thank you for watching. Don't forget you can subscribe to my channel somewhere here, <laughs> you can subscribe. And so you can follow along with me. Um, I hopefully will be releasing a new video every Monday. So be sure to subscribe.